Especially welcome uh, His Excellency the Ambassador of the Czech Republic to Australia, Mr. Juraj Chmiel. So he ran to the river, he'd almost made it when the men threw their spears one after another and a lot of them landed in his back. He fell into the water, disappeared and gone was buckled. The people who arrange this are doing a great job because we should all look after children regardless of whether what country or what culture, what colour or creed or religion, all children deserve a chance in life. <laughs> Australia and I hope you all have a wonderful time because I intend to. Thank you brothers and sisters. I'm the head of the uh, British in primary section of the British International School in Slovakia. Francis has spent two days with us working with children from age year seven, age seven, um, up to eleven and twelve year olds, and through just his personality, reaffirm the messages that we really want the children to to hear. He's um, amazingly good at helping people relax and sort of see through their own barriers and come out of themselves a little bit and again that's children and adults that he works with so I think that's probably one of the for me is one of the the really big positive aspects of his performance is that he can bring that out of people. Come to a place where it's quite tough and um, and people aren't, aren't open to, to, to somebody who's being loving or somebody who's being open or welcoming or touching or, 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 or hugging or any of that stuff, you know, or any of the beautiful kind of human emotions, we've all become very blocked off to it. We are talking this morning and you said, why do you like me? And they said, because you're this and you're this and you're this. And then you said, okay, if you're this, this and this, then people will like you back. And I thought that was really lovely because I could see the children starting to think then. So I think you've turned things on their heads a little bit, which is a great thing to do. Actually, mostly staff that have come up and are really curious about where he's from and how he got into this and how I happened to cross paths with him and where did I pull this guy from. So, very, very positive reaction from the staff as well. Firebrace, whose father was an Aborigine, travels the world to educate children. This is modern teaching at its best. You only have to look at their faces to know this is one lesson they won't forget. Uh, it was very fun and I like doing the Aboriginal art. You're kind as well and you like everyone in the school that's in you that come here. And you're nice as well. Thank you, darling. 
really nice attitude towards the kids, and the kids really relate to you. I thought you were very open and warm and very natural. I really enjoyed listening to your stories, and um, it made me think about our society and the society that we live. I learned loads and loads more about Aboriginal history than I would have ever dreamed of knowing. You're extremely talented and you are brilliant with the children. You um, really connect with the children who perhaps need that support and you can immediately home in on the one child in the room that really needs that attention and you pull them straight out and they adore you so I think it's fantastic. Well, I think that's a lovely thing to say, and I appreciate that. Now, here's trouble. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're extremely warm. I think they're absolutely drawn to you. And as you rightly said, children suffer from very low self-esteem. And the fact that you brought some of the kids out to the front and got them to say things they would never have said otherwise is absolutely fantastic. And I think they will remember it for the rest of their lives. Thank you. Now it's time to travel back in time to experience one of the world's oldest cultures. Children at Trinity School in Carlisle were thrilled to have a masterclass in an ancient Australian way of life today. It was a demonstration of authentic Aboriginal art, music and storytelling, which is touring Cumbria to teach youngsters about tolerance, respect and self-esteem. And as Ryan Dollard found out, the pupils had never had a lesson quite like it. <laughs> They listened intently as he taught them the ancient Aboriginal hunting methods that worked for so many hundreds of years in the Australian bush. I enjoyed today and I learned a lot from Francis. Francis we love Francis! He's Francis is becoming a legend. He is, he a, is legend. a legend. You are a legend. Really good and interesting and I learned loads. And I really like your Francis and I'm making an Aboriginal thing about you. You learned a lot of stuff about Aboriginal and about and you and the people. Yeah. Everyone's equal and just show who you are and don't be like scared and everyone's cool. It was fun. It was great. Say you're cool. You're really cool, you're my friend. We love you because you're a cool legend and you taught us how to let our emotions run free with our paintings. We love you. Thank you, sister. I love you too, darling. <laughs> And it's been a fantastic experience for them. They've been really creative and had a rather long time on the art, which is excellent. But you're a very special person, thank you. Francis has been very calming today on the students, particularly students who maybe have a little bit of difficulty um, settling down and getting into their work. And uh, Francis, his demeanour has just, he's exuded calm and, they, and that's, that's come through with their work. Absolutely fantastic, Francis. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, the paintings were absolutely gorgeous. The way that you talk to the whole school, because we had about four or five hundred people there, and the way that you speak to them is just incredibly, is different. And it's also extremely welcoming. It's full of love. It's just gorgeous. And those children love every second of the workshops and also every single second of um, your presence. So thank you very much indeed for a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant day. Yeah. 